Welcome to Origins, where we focus on going more in-depth into the origins of heroes and villains. This week, we're going to heavily focus on explaining the origins of all of those head lanterns, so you can prepare for some good old-fashioned lantern stories. Ever wonder about the leader of the Red Lanterns? How he was deemed to have so much rage that he could be deemed the embodiment of sheer rage? Things begin with Cronus sending the first intergalactic police force into a rogue rampage. No one escapes the Manhunters, and they decided to go ahead and destroy the entire sector of 666. Well, on the planet Ryut, Atros was there, and he was nothing more than a devoted father and husband. He was actually a psychologist by trade, and he was among the rebellion that stood up against the Manhunters as they came to his planet. He tried to save the children. He tried to save the planet. He tried to save anyone. But the Manhunters killed and disintegrated the inhabitants of his entire planet. Atros still remembers his daughter's doll turning to dust in his own hands. Now, depending on the version of the story you hear, this is where he becomes the Red Lantern. But that's the abridged version for the New 52. There is so much more to it than just that. You see, Atros didn't actually become a Red Lantern there. It just makes it easier to tell his story that way. What actually happened is Atros was one of the five survivors of the Sector 666 massacre, and the group formed up as a cabal known as the Five Inversions, and they used the power of blood magic to try and get their revenge on the Guardians. Well, as a part of their blood magic, they were able to see into the future, and they were able to see the prophecy of the Blackest Knight. This was the prophecy that stated that all life in the universe would eventually end. Using this knowledge of future events, they attacked the Guardians, but failed. As punishment, they were imprisoned on the planet Yasmult for an unknown amount of time. And sometime later, after the Guardians had made the Green Lanterns, one of the greatest Green Lanterns, Abin Sur, ended up on Yasmult with the prisoners, where they informed him of the Blackest Night prophecy. He became obsessed with this knowledge and decided to research it himself by taking Atros, who was now going by the name Atrocitus, with him to the supposed start of the Blackest Night prophecy, Earth. It was there that Atrocitus got free and mortally wounded Abin Sur, causing him to crash and pass his ring on to Hal Jordan. Atrocitus then went on a rampage throughout all of Earth looking for William Hand, the future owner of the Black Ring. And he was going to succeed from a device that he created from dismantled guns, but the newest Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, and his trainer Sinestro came and stopped Atrocitus before he could kill William Hand. Atrocitus was then brought back to Yasmult by Sinestro and Hal Jordan, where Atrocitus decided to get his revenge against what he thought was the greatest Green Lantern, Sinestro. And through a series of rituals which used the rage, hatred, and anger of the entire destroyed sector to fuel the start of the Red Lantern Corps, he proceeded to beat the other four inversions to death to combine their blood magics into his new Red Lantern lamp. And this allowed him to become the first Red Lantern in the universe. He then used his blood magics and the knowledge of the prophecies to instill fear into the Guardians and become one of the greatest enemies of the Green Lantern Corps. Eventually, he does discover that it was Corona that turned the Manhunters against his sector, but that's all wrapped up into another story. If you learned something new, give this video a like. We really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time right here at Comic Story.